and you do well to take heed to it as a light that shines in a dark place. Well, I tell you, I don't have to convince anyone here this afternoon that it's a dark place we're living in. It's an increasingly dark world. But as the world gets darker, the light ought to shine brighter, don't you think? And one of the reasons we've been left here in these dark days is not to get all bent out of shape and not to get all upset and frustrated and, uh, and rail against the present generation, but to show them what our Savior's like. The world is weary of hearing Christian or pseudo-Christian talk. What they desperately need to see is the reality of the life of faith. To see people who live in such a way that it just blows their arguments away. <laughs> Say, well, I, I can argue with this person, but I see the reality in their life. I was telling the folks recently about a, about a young girl who was saved up in New Brunswick. She was traveling on a train, and there was an elderly woman sitting in the train. And she didn't have the courage to speak to that elderly woman, but she said, whatever that woman has, that's what I need to be happy. And months went by, and she was driving down the street in the town where she lived, and she saw the very woman, and she was going up into the meeting place in that town, and she thought maybe that's where she got it. So she pulled over and stopped and went in. My dad was preaching the gospel, and Gabrielle got saved. Just the reflection of the glory of Christ in the face of that woman. Now, that does not come by watching The Late Show. I suppose I don't have to tell you that. You can't fake it. That comes by spending time in the presence of the One who, as we behold His glory, we are changed into the same image. I have been given the capacity to show men no longer what I am like, which is a desperate thing, but to show them what He is like. That he could take me out of the dunghill and set me with princes. That it could be said of me like it was said of Gideon's brethren. They look like the children of a king. Wouldn't that be a great thing? That as we move through life, in the things we say, in the things we do, that they would know there's another world because they've met someone from that country. And that's what the world needs to see. Someone who bears the demeanor of that king from another country.